Good evening, everybody. Welcome to the first episode of the West Game Sermon Podcast. I am your host, Butcher, and tonight I am along with Bank Robber. And we are so excited to bring this podcast to you all. We've been talking about it for what seems like forever now, and we're so happy and excited to finally be bringing this to you guys. And yeah. Yeah, I'm excited also. Me and Butch has been talking about this forever, and we decided let's go ahead and do our first podcast and just um, have a conversation, chat with you guys, see if we can get some opinions on what you guys want to talk about. Yeah, so I think one thing that made Bank and I want to start doing a podcast was to kind of get more community interactivity in the West Game community. Because one of the things that I've realized is that there's very segregated parts of the West Game community. So by doing this podcast, we're kind of hoping to bring out everybody and make everybody involved in what's going on in West Game, not just the biggest and the most relevant people, but kind of trying to bring West Game together as a community, as like a whole. Yeah, I I agree with that. Um, we we talked about how a lot of these chats are just kind of states like one through 74 and the younger states don't have any clue what's going on in the West game. Um, Cause I, I know we had talked about like when we were smaller, we were constantly looking at the bigger states at like Zeekman and all those, all the big guys and um, always watching what they were doing. And and they tend to do the same thing with us because we're constantly getting messages from smaller states, you know, watching us battle and um we want to get everybody involved with everything yeah and just kind of just like you said like when i was a smaller player and i didn't really know what was going on like i would sit there and i would watch battles and and all that sort of stuff but i wouldn't really know what was going on so we're kind of hoping to give some of the smaller states an idea of what it's what it's like to fight in the big battles and and kind of let them know like where most a lot of players are playing in this in this state of the game right now and i think that bringing that bridging that gap and kind of closing it and like allowing the smaller states to understand more of how the states one through 74 are playing and and kind of give them just insight and help and tips and tricks of different things of all things West game, not just battling, but farming and all the other aspects to West game that entails. Yeah. I mean, I, I want to say like, when I look at um, like the West game Facebook page, I see a lot of people asking questions that seem very, very basic to us, but to the people in those smaller States, they are like huge questions and 99% 99% of the time they're getting the wrong information. Um, so I, and I don't know, I don't, yeah. I don't, a lot of the stuff I see on there, I'm just like, I don't know. So we kind of wanted to make a place that we could physically talk about it. Um, we, I think our vision for this is to have a more well-rounded podcast we want to get into not only the tips and tricks and everything game related as far as that, but we want to get into the skill of it. We want to get into the events and uh, I, won't, I hate to say yeah. this, but we want to get into the drama. <laughs> yeah. If you guys know me and Butch at all, we are. We're, <laughs> we are we're, the drama. Of yeah, king and queen game. of drama over here. That's for sure. But um, that's what keeps everybody going. I think that's what that's really what keeps this game going because it has lost its it's lost its finesse. I think yeah. a little bit. I agree. I agree. And at the start of this game, when I was was starting to start the drama and starting to to be 
the player that people know me as now is sort of just like a rebel and and name snatcher (laughs) don't change your name but just gonna take it (laughs) if if you're relevant and you change your name I, i probably have it but when i sort of started doing that my vision was to piss people off and was to do that so that other people would get angry and now my sort of way of doing like the reason that i'm doing it still isn't because i think obviously it's fun to piss people off but it's more of just like people stay in this game and play this game because of the drama and i think that's something that goes a little bit untalked about in in the community is the drama is what keeps people playing a lot of the times i mean as long as it's not super personal and stuff i think drama is a good thing i think it keeps people talking it keeps people interacting and it keeps people fighting and hating each other and yeah a lot of people i fight with i don't hate but exactly that's like um like you see the the people that are most hated in this game and you see them go piss somebody off whatever it might be they might have a blow up in one of these chat rooms with somebody and the next time that they meet that person in an event uh, whatever it might be they're dead set on zero on that person um so that's that really does keep keep quite a bit of it going yeah and i think a lot of the things that in 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 our vision of of this podcast i think a lot of the things the subjects that we'll talk about are are more of the things that go untalked about in west game just like bank was saying the drama the skill everything that that goes behind being successful in the big events that are played in west game and now uh, after a while we've finally started to get a little bit more of these bigger events such as svs league we have uh ava league uh we just got done with ava league now we have legions league we have shadow event we have bigger events coming up in the future and that is um a great thing for west game these bigger events that people can play against people that are not in their state or not in the state that they are playing in SVS, it co- it creates more community, again, with, with the larger West game because you can ally with other states that can help you in the bigger events if you are getting annihilated in your state yourself. You could go in these bigger events and end up annihilating because you have the allies in the other state to help you succeed in larger events. So did that's... You... Did you notice that they like dropped like all of these events all at once? <laughs> like, if, yeah. like every other day we got a big event going on and everyone's and, just like, oh, are you kidding me? That's something that I personally hate. I, I don't like it at all. I think it was a horrible, horrible move on West Games part because yes, these big events are great. Just like I was just, just like I was talking about, but if we're having events like this every day and every week, it's just getting so busy it ends up kind of making these events irrelevant in my opinion. Yeah. And it's like they dropped. Okay. So they, they did a good thing by doing the, the league, the, um, the ABA league. That was good. And then they went right into, I think shadows next or what was it shadows? I think it was ABA league. Yeah. I think it was shadows, but shortly after that, they, they kind of released a bunch of bigger events. at the same that, time, that's uh, what I'm Shadows, saying. I think, was the, the first one that we actually ended up playing. We got nothing for over a year. And all of a sudden, they drop ABA League, and then they do Shadows. And then right after that, they drop the the West King announcement. And literally, while we're doing the West King pregame right now, we got... Um, the legions league thing that they got going on Mm -hmm. and then we also have another shadows event going on so literally monday wednesday friday we got events and then literally saturday we're doing a big major troop loss event and so well i I, it is not major but yeah i did i do love that they gave us that battlefield hospital but it it's just like crazy every other day we have big events going on and so i'm just like what the fuck (laughs) yeah and because it's hard to manage all players in an alliance and 
obviously not everybody can be on at all times of the day or every single day for that. Um, and in my opinion, they should have released these events in stages. We shouldn't have gone an entire year plus without any big event to play for. And then now we have all these events and I'm pretty sure that they're only for states one through 74 and state 75 has been there for uh, like the same amount of time as state 74, but they can't do literally anything, which is just mind blowing to me. But I think one thing that I wanted to touch on was the battlefield hospital, just like you talked about briefly. And I do enjoy the Battlefield Hospital, but I think that there are a lot of pros and cons to the Battlefield Hospital, and there's strategies that you can use with it, and one of those strategies is was used against us in the last Shadows, Shadows event um, the week before this, and it is soloing the capital with all boosted full T5 marches because you don't lose any troops, so then it, you hit it, hit the capital before with all your solos and then your rally is, is hitting way less troops because you just can't time it and mm -hmm. rebuild fast enough. It's a tactic and I fucking love it. I hope people forget that there's no battlefield hospital in West King and send me a whole bunch of boosted marches of fives. Yeah. I think <laughs> that's, that's my hope right now is uh, we can briefly talk about West King. Um, obviously the biggest event in West game and the the last winner of West West King, obviously the one and only easy to be bad of our alliance ONC. Um, we'll see what happens with West King. Obviously, we have plans and and all that, but uh, we'll get to that in in future episodes. That we'll go more in depth of of the West King event. But I'm hoping with this West King event, we have zero battlefield hospitals because. Mm -hmm. We're Otherwise, all gonna, if you ain't coming to zero yourself by joining rallies and putting troops in that building, then stay the fuck away. Yeah. Because this is where the big boys play. <laughs> and the big boys will be playing. And yeah. I'll tell you that with a great, <laughs> great, great idea of what's going to be happening in West King. But I think we should transition back into this, some of the smaller events. Um, such as the Shadow event uh, we've been mostly talking about. But I would like to know your thoughts, Bank, on, on the Shadows event and the weeks now. Like We have it every week and we have multiple battles. What are your thoughts on that? Um, okay, so as an alliance, uh, of course, being an ONC, I think like the very first Shadows event that they put out was really good. We went We went very competitive. We took the title every time. Um, our state did very well, but I do not like that our state won every single title and we killed a fuck ton of troops and then we lose the actual event to a completely irrelevant state that had no competition and did fucking nothing that set in babysat a building. No, it, I think if they're going to do the shadows event and they're, I do like the fact that it you do get force killed off of it, mm -hmm. but also <laughs> I do not like that people are using that event to just boost up their force kill all over the place by just kill you know practically zero on themselves. Dumb as shit. But yeah. back to what I was saying, I like that the I like that the event is I, I like that we have it in the evenings mm -hmm. during the week. Um, this time was, be, last time, last time we had it, it was very scattered and, and we could never really know when the time was going to be, but this time I think they kind of changed it. Yeah. I, I like the reset time because mm -hmm. I don't know about other alliances, but I know our alliance at reset, everybody is online because everybody is trying to complete tasks for the little task events that they have and everyone's online. We're running gobs. We got stuff going on. So reset is actually a really good time for us during the week. Um, the only thing I do not like about shadows is that they dropped it during the, the West King prep time that we have going on right now. 
um, like as a competitive alliance, I think that we need to be like full focus. Like right now I should be like gathering because it's like gathering day for this this other stupid event that's going on. I don't even know what it's called because there's so many going on right now for those <laughs> little task events. But we wasn't able to do that because we had to jump into shadows and we just got done with shadows not too long ago. And so that's the only thing I don't like is that they have so much going on. So these competitive events, these competitive battle events are going on. But on the side, we also have all of these weekly tasks that they have. And then on the weekends, we have no like daily tasks to do. Yeah. Um, there's no carnival. There's no like building events. But then we have like our actual battles. So I think if they do shadows and they do it like during the week, whatever. I mean, I, I do like the time, but we, we can't be doing it like in the middle of like all of the building and stuff that we got going on. It's just too much buttons. It's too much time on the game. Um, so yeah, that's, it's... That's one, of the, that's one of the things that is super hard about this game is ever since I've started playing and started playing at a competitive level, there has always been a major disconnect between the game developers and the competitive players in this game. Always. And the game developers have no idea what goes into playing this game at a competitive level. Um, and, and for some people, it, it, they spend a lot, a lot, a lot of time and money to be playing this game at the level that they're playing. And there's things that players have to do other than play the game. I mean, they're playing it, but they're also... It's, it's not just fighting. You got to farm, you got to... Uh, do all the maintenance of, of, of a, maintaining an account and, and that's something that the game forgets because I look at like my tasks of like in West game like on the the battle or whatever or on the, the side for the week and it's just way too much for me to even comprehend like I have to do Master's event and Bundles of Joy and all this other all these other events like um, yeah, the brothers and all those things. It's just way too much to do it all without spending my entire day on West Game. And that's the thing. You have to do those things in order to stay relevant because everyone else is doing those things. You should see like see my maintenance, my daily maintenance list of going through all the accounts. It's it's crazy the amount of like chests that you have to open up. You have to train a certain amount of troops and click all the little buttons and open up all the little things. And it's that really doesn't bother me because I ignore that stuff when we got events going on. Mm -hmm. But when we have an event every other day and I'm not able to even do any of those things on any of my accounts, that's really what kills it for me. Yeah. So I, it's. I, it's not just the Shadows event, but the Shadows event it, it has kind of become irrelevant. And I'm hoping that they kind of scale it back and not have it be as often as, as it is right now because this last Shadows event, like for this week's, this week's Shadow, we just don't really care about getting the title. It, we, we figured out it's, it's an irrelevant title. You get it for 12 hours on days that you don't have, have building booths, so all, all, everybody's training and stuff is on the half-off event. And you don't even get like the the training booths of of a title when those events are happening. So no one's utilizing these titles. Like these titles are completely irrelevant. And in my like, I just don't really understand what is what there is to fight for with shadow event anymore. Like, is it just the the boost of winning winning an event? Like, or is it? something else because i really cannot seem to figure it out yeah like i like when they first announced the shadow event i thought it would be more like like viceroy um like you kind of you go and you jump in a state with a few other states and you guys all battle it out and whoever wins the title you know the most occupation time gets to hold that title and it, it carries over yeah. but it only lasts 12 hours now and so the amount of gold and speeds and 
and shit that we do to get that title and if for it to only last 12 hours during a time of the week that is completely irrelevant when we're not battling anybody. We don't even have buildings pop up during this stuff. The title does nothing and it's all combat titles. I mean, I, I don't, I think, I don't know. I, mean, I know the game developers just redo it. To, to rework the Shadows event, to, it, it can be made relevant. I mean, it's a, it's a good <clears> event. <throat> the, the thought process behind the Shadows event is great i love love how it's set up but i don't love that i have to be fighting in this event every other day literally every other day for nothing the rewards yeah. of this event are horrible too yeah i mean i want to say the only good reward that they give us is the force kill we get to keep yeah, you know I and agree. also another thing is like at these big accounts when i go and test their bases and stuff um, they can go and rally big players in this event, and as soon as they pour it out, they get their sheriff back. And yeah. so big accounts can go and push their accounts, like push them, like really test the limits on them. And so I like that. Um, I just, I don't like that it's it's not exclusive, if that mm -hmm. makes sense. Like it's, I feel like it should be more exclusive, like Viceroy. They should be able to get to carry their titles for longer than 12 hours. Yeah. And the, I want to say the rewards should be better. Um, I mean, because I, I honestly don't even know what they give us. I I just yeah. click the buttons. Cause, I, cause it's just, I, don't, I don't know. Like, I don't even use it because it just doesn't do anything for me. I know. And, I'm actually about to go look real quick. <laughs> <laughs> and so another event that the west that west game developers have have released in this mass release of of global events is the svs league and svs is something that I'm, I'm i'm pretty sure everybody in this game should be um should know about and with the svs league you there's different stages and then you get to the the final stage of of svs league which is west king and um, that should be a great battle, but with SVS League, uh, originally the developers had asked people on Discord, I believe, what they thought about uh, SVS as a whole, and a lot of the feedback that they had gotten was it's too long. So what they did, at least for the first event of SVS League, our first SVS that we had, uh, they changed it to 12 hours which made the strategy that goes behind playing in in SVS shortened by 12 hours because we used to be able to just go and, and mess around for the first however long and then once everybody went to sleep you could just kind of farm your way to a win but with the 12 hours then it, it changed to where like you had to really like stick down and, and make sure that you're holding everything and, and, and not doing stupid stupid rallies and and things that would give the other state points. But well, I think, and I hate to cut you off, but I think that the 12 hour, like I want to say, in my opinion, I fucking love the 12 hour event yeah. because it pushed everyone to fight because it's no longer like babysitting buildings. Everyone has to fight. And that first SVS league, they, the developers really need to look at that because there was so much fighting going on. I mean, the score between, what was the state? Twenty eight and sixty one. Was it sixty one? I think so. I'm not hundred percent sure though. Yeah. Well, whatever. It was twenty eight and and sixty one. I don't know. The I think it was sixty one that that pulled it off, and everyone's saying like, oh, twenty eight beat themselves. But it's like, well, how did you guys beat your in yourself? Like that doesn't yeah. like it. There was a strategy going into that. I mean, I want to say we was up for our 12 hours, of course, babysitting our buildings, um, mm -hmm. but watching 28 and 61 battle it out. And it was, it was a good battle. Like the whole time we was watching them all the way down to the end. And I, that's a strategy that these, that these, I want to say, you know, underdog States Mid can, yeah, mid-level States. Yeah. That can like go into it, like go into it, battling i mean shove some fours into your rallies and go and hit people that you probably wouldn't hit any other yeah. time because that's what they did to us because didn't we just fight 61 um 
I think we fought 61. Or, it was either 61 or 58. I always get the two, two of them mixed up. Yeah, and, and I, I probably should have looked in that before we started talking about it, but <laughs> we that's what they were doing to us was throwing meat rallies at us and really stacking those points up. I mean, that we were holding all of these buildings, but they were throwing meat rallies at us and they were keeping up in points like yeah, the whole we're time. Still pretty close. Yeah. I mean, at any time we could have rallied one or two people and like got behind like quickly. So there, and I then, mean, there, there are strategies that go into it that people really need to like think about. And the developers need to think about that. Also, if you put an event together that make people battle and make people stay on the game and want to have fun and, and everybody's online and everybody's, you know, and they're not just sitting there on a freaking tile. Um, that is going to keep people interested in this game. That's going to keep people spending and that is going to keep this game alive. <laughs> yeah, I agree. And and one of the things that I took out of, of the 12 hour SDS um, battles was it really made you have to, 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 to use strategy and figure out and search for people that you could rally, people that just randomly unshielded, that would be good hits. And that's both for our states, our state and other states. People were finding accounts in State 54 that they could hit and get good points off of. And it kept them close in, in, the, in the fight the entire time. Mm-hmm. And now we're on the, the final two, the final four teams in uh the gold bracket so after svs i think we have it this weekend if, if i'm not mistaken um but after that we it's, it's down to the final two and then the final one and then after that is is the west key event which will be super fun yeah um i was looking at that today i don't quite understand the wording on the event because i thought it was going to be like the top eight accounts from the gold bracket and the top eight accounts from the silver bracket that go to West King and then everyone else goes to Viceroy. Mm-hmm. But right now there's only four states in gold bracket, which is going to be down to two. And so I'm really confused on the the wording on the whole event. Like, okay, I'm actually I'm gonna pull it up and see if I can read this. Yeah, I have it I have it pulled up. Uh what it says is there will be four matches in this stage based on their overall strength calculated. The participating states will be ranked and divided into four groups, gold, silver, one, gold, silver, two, silver, three. The gold group states will compete in knockout matches while the silver groups will hold point matches. So, uh, and then it goes on to talk about uh, about the, the knockout stage. And it says, for the gold group states, the winner of each knockout match will be awarded with a special token that's irrelevant. Um, but it, my understanding is it of it is it is the winner of the gold bracket and then eight additional states. But I could be wrong about that. I'm not 100 percent sure. It is it is worded pretty pretty well. Weirdly. If you if you look at like number two, the spirit stage, which is the West King event, is what they're yeah. calling the the spirit stage. It says moving into the spirit session, the top eight states in the gold group and the top four states in the silvers. I had that wrong. It's actually four states from silver. Silver one group will partake in the West King battle event. So I'm wondering where the fuck are all the rest of the gold states? Because yeah. there's a knockout rounds that knocked states out, and now we're down to four, which is about to be down to two. So where the fuck are all the gold states? <laughs> that is... Uh, I, didn't, I didn't realize that until now, but... Yeah, That's like I was reading that. Is it is it the first? Is it the first? Because it it started off with eight, eight eight teams in the in the the gold bracket, didn't it? Yeah. Well, no, it was it was more than that. I think. So I have it, to go back it, and look. Is at it the, the is it the eight states that are are there with um like the final eight states in the gold bracket? regardless of it of when they get knocked out so like is that that could be what it is i that's that's weird i never realized that yeah and and that's how i'm wondering like are they going to do it based off of points but it would have to be points from the silver stage which means that the 
the points that they accumulate during the silver stage could probably put them back in the gold stage. But then who from the silver stage is going to be going to West King if that's yeah. how they're going to do it? That's, it makes no sense. And then, like I said, like we were talking about the... Um, the first SVS was 12 hours. Everyone fucking loved it. There was like three people who complained and all those three people can go fuck themselves. The 12 <laughs> hours was perfect. Yeah. Perfect. Everyone got in. Everyone got to battle. And I'm sorry if you're not awake during that 12 hours, but sometimes that's how it works. Um, yeah. But they're still saying on here that the SVS battle time during the, the league event will be halved for 12 hours. And so I'm wondering, is West King going to be 12 hours, or are they going to bump it back up to 24 hours? That would, like, 12 hour West King would be super interesting because yeah, some like sometimes it, it, it the 12 hours additional 12 hours of 24 really makes a, a difference because people just keep fighting and keep fighting and keep fighting. But I think with the way because it's confusing now because this last SVS we had wasn't half to 12 hours. It was still 24. So have they made up their mind of, of 12 hours or did they disregard all of the, the community's input on the 12 hours of that's what they wanted and decided to go back to 24 hours? It, it doesn't really make sense to me what, what they're trying to do with, with the time of the event. Exactly. And if anybody out there understands the developers i would like to have a conversation with you because i don't think i have spoke to anybody that understands anything that these developers put in their explanation of any of these events honestly and this svs league thing that they got going on makes no sense and yeah. for them to post and advertise that it is going to be 12 hours and then for them to change it Mm. Yeah, I agree my with you. my lawyer would have a heyday with this. <laughs> <laughs> and something that you had just mentioned of talking to people listening to this is something that we wanted to talk to you all about with this first introductory ep- introductory episode of uh, the West Game Sermon podcast. We really want to interact with the West Game community in ways that aren't really um, there right now. So something that we have done with this this podcast is we have created social media accounts um, on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube to interact with you guys. Some of In, in some of our future episodes of, of this podcast, we, we will be talking about um, different reports and different things that are are better to be like seen in in a in a photo format so uh on these social media platforms we will be posting updates on when new episodes are coming out um we'll post battle reports and different uh content that we talk about in in that podcast episode and kind of just interact with people in west game in the west game community we'll answer questions we'll if you guys have stuff that you would, you'd like us to talk about in the podcast and things like that, we will take questions. We will just interact with the community as a whole. Um, and I think that's something that you really, really wanted in this podcast as well is just kind of interacting with, with the community. Yeah. I'm, I want to say that was probably the main thing that made us start. This was having people's voice be heard. Um, the developers don't listen to us. Um, I get on the West Game Discord and look at the polls that they put up and the suggestions box that's, I don't know if you guys have ever seen The Office, but like the the office, you know, and he's like, I'm going to go file this in the, um, the, the corporate filing cabinet and it's actually a trash can. I feel like that's what the developers do with our suggestions. And so we want to make a, a voice and we want to make sure that people are interacting and people are talking about what they want done in West game because the developers aren't listening to us. We're not, I mean, we get in these, these secluded chat rooms and we all yell at each other about stuff. Developers don't see that. Mm -hmm. Um, We, 
people have stopped going to the suggestions page and doing the polls and stuff in the West game tab because the developers don't listen to that either. We, and of course, developers are probably not going to ever listen to us and listen to our podcasts and look at our social media. But if we put it out there enough, we, we could just be seen by them. Our suggestions could, I mean, if we put up, if you guys want, we can do polls on like what we have talked about, like the, the shadow event, the SVS league time, because literally I seen probably a handful of people complain about how it was 12 hours and everybody else that I had seen and talked to and it looked, it was like scrolling through these chats. Everyone loved the 12 hours. Mm -hmm. So we're going to use these social media accounts to not only post our podcast for everyone to listen to, but we also want to do some live Q and A's. So you guys can ask us questions. We can answer them. We can all be interacting with each other and it is posted for everyone to see. Mm -hmm. So if at any point the developers do see this stuff, everyone's opinions are out there. So, and one of the things with, with getting the opinions in the, in the hard, cold, polls of that if, if we were to do polls and such we would have evidence that this is what we want and yes the polls that west game puts up and in the suggestions of of people saying that that's what they want they can see that people want it but a lot of the times like there's proof but there's not that much proof and if we can provide the proof and the the demand for change in West game of different situations, I think we, we would have, we would have a better chance at, at making these changes. And so that's something um, also bank had, had talked about the live aspect of, of the things that we wanted to do with this podcast. And something that I would like to talk about is doing possibly in the future, we would be doing live interactive podcasts with certain people, um, different guests that, we can do live Q and A's live um, just live conversations and interacting with, with the audience of, of this podcast. Uh, so that's something that we, we had briefly talked about doing the live interactive podcasts. And so there's a lot of different plans and um, ideas that we have for this podcast. And I, and I'm super, 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 super excited about <laughs> everything about this podcast. I mean, obviously most people who know me in this game know that I love to be known, which is why in the first place I, I even um, started be playing the way I played was because I wanted people to know who I was. So that's, that's not the only reason that I, that I'm doing this because truly like I've been playing West game since for like years now. And it's just kind of became, become a part of my life that, is not hidden from from some people but I don't really talk about it very much so I just and it's something that I love talking about I just don't have very many people to talk to it about except for bank right <laughs> I will say my my best friends are in this game and so that's that's what keeps me going mm -hmm. so my best I, friends my family you you get everything with this game right Even, like I've met and I, I think this goes for, for everybody who has not, I wouldn't say religiously played this game, but who has played this game a decent amount. Everybody has met great people in this game. Obviously, I don't get along with, with a, a, a decent amount of people <laughs> in the game, but I would say, like, I, I, I want people to know really, like, more about you and I, Bank, because obviously we're perceived as as the drama queens and the rebels and that sort of thing within the major West game community. But I think there's, there's a side to you and I that a majority doesn't see. And I think letting people know that even if you think somebody is a bad person or is rude or is, is whatever you want to say, there's good sides to them. And that's something that I, that I am excited for people to see about you and I. Yeah, I, I do agree. I want to say, like, months back, um, 
our state as a whole mentioned doing um, a podcast and they're like, have Bank do it. And I'm like, sure, I'll do it. And then there was certain people that disagreed. They're like, nah, <laughs> everyone hates Bank. And I'm just like, well, fuck you. <laughs> uh, so I really don't care. Um, Neither of us care really about, about yeah. what, and what y'all think about us. I, I really don't, but I – if you do get to know me, you do, you will know that I, I, I am a, a very strong member in our alliance, not account physicality, but as a person, I have, yeah, I have um, a very strong personality uh, and I keep everybody going. I keep everybody on their toes and um, Butch loves to say good morning to everybody every day. <laughs> It's his favorite Good thing morning, to do. Everybody who's <laughs> listening to this, I hope you all have a great day. Just, <laughs> just needed to get that out of the way because it's it's a hard hitting thing, right there. Is is make sure you say good morning. It's, <laughs> it's so simple, isn't it? Even if you're sleeping, just just in your sleep. Uh, uh, that's one thing I want everybody who's listening right now to do. <laughs> just in your sleep tonight, just make sure you say good morning because even if you're sleeping, you don't say it. It's your fault. That you're mean. Uh, only your Owen. Person. Only Owen C knows this inside <laughs> joke. That's funny, but um, we we do want to me and which want to show the other side of us um, in this podcast. But do not get us twisted. We do. We will. And we all, have. all the things, all the drama, <laughs> all the things is coming with that. Um, so. Get prepared for that. We we will not let you guys down. We will have some drama episodes. We will have some mystery guests that will bring lots of drama. <laughs> and we we want you guys to interact. We really want to create that community. Our community sucks right now. Sorry guys, yeah. but let's get it together. I agree. The the only the only community I feel like is in West Game is in these these little line group chats that are just full of hooligans and yeah and that sort of, there's good people but a lot of them it's just like there's nothing that's talked about and i i want to talk strategy in this in in our future episodes and i want to talk about really like some of the things that aren't talked about really like in these chat rooms because people aren't talking about strategy because they don't want other people to know their strategies but we know them. The whole West game knows them. I'm sorry but if you are in any type of competitive alliance you already know all the strategies. You you set a rally and you march the rally. Congratulations, you know it all. It there's no there there is a skill to this game and yes, there is some clickers involved and you know, what everyone wants to bring up and insinuate whatever. But there is a skill in this game. Yeah. There and I think there, it's a hidden I, I would say it's more of a hidden skill. Yeah. Like, it it's Putting two and two together in this game is simple. It's, yeah. it's simple, but a lot of people are just like not very intelligent and they just can't figure it out. But and, that's and, kind that, of, and, that, and that's the thing is there there's there's no longer secret strategies. So we're going to talk about all of them, all the ONC strategies. We're going to talk about them. I'm sorry, murder. <laughs> but we're going to do it because they're not a secret anymore. Yeah, we do have a few things that we keep in our little hat that we'll pull out every once in a while and show you guys a trick. Um, but no, we, we're going to talk about the strategies. We want these younger states to get involved and start working these strategies and get to that st- that that like level of this game where they're battling at that super high competitive um nature whatever um so when they do open up these states if they ever do that's just speculating (laughs) they're that they're ready to go and they're already in the community and we all love each other and there's a big group hug yeah never i I know we all hate each other (laughs) (laughs) Uh, only 50 (laughs) percent but i think uh, uh, that's Going back to what I what I what I what we've kind of been talking about the last last few minutes here is just like bringing everybody together because again there's a lot of people I don't like a lot of people I disagree with a lot of people who who love to speak their mind about me and my alliance and 
you, and that's the way we play. And the thing is, is like people perceive us in horrible ways, but a lot of the times they don't even ask us or even know what the intentions of different game moves are. Yeah, but but you have to understand, like that's how that's how family is. Like I don't yeah. know how your family is, but like at my Thanksgiving, like we all get together that we see some family we haven't seen in a long time we all like poke fun of each other there's arguments the uncles get drunk and fight each other that's how things work in families so yeah. west game so family I think maybe, I think maybe, bring it maybe on we, maybe we change when, whenever we're talking about west game as a whole i think we should start saying the west game family instead of yeah. the west game community because look that's at really us. what it is it is a family we look are at family. us but um <laughs> One one last last sort of thing I want to want to talk about, uh, and again we we sort of briefly mentioned it. We'll, we'll kind of get uh, more structured in our in our future episodes. We just want to wanted to sort of introduce ourselves and and introduce what you guys can all expect out of out of this podcast. Um, but yeah, I just this wanted was... to reiterate reiterate what Bank had said. Um, we have some very exciting things planned and in the works for this podcast. Exciting guests that will will, mm-hmm. will be a surprise to a lot of different I'm people. I'm excited for our first guest. I'm just going to say that right now. I'm really excited. excited. This, this next, uh, uh, our second episode of this podcast will be very interesting. And I'm telling you guys, you may not like me. You may not like Bank. You may not like anybody who comes on this podcast but the what will come out of this next episode will be phenomenal Mm -hmm. it will be drama exciting it will be be drama it'll be a so much west game talk it'll be so much drama it will tick all of your boxes so (laughs) get ready for it it it, i'm i'm so i'm so excited because i had meant as as bank and i were first first kind of talking about getting this podcast done it's been uh talked about for probably a month now uh but as we sort of started to uh, really get into it and be like yeah we're we're serious about it yeah yeah i i had mentioned doing getting this person in uh, as a guest and um it'll be exciting that's all i have to say uh it'll be fun the future of this podcast will be fun hopefully it'll be a good thing for the west game family and and really just bring west game family together as a whole yeah and you're not listen and communicate and do all the things to keep this game going guys we this is what we're doing it for we're doing it for you and it's by request and if you didn't request me i'm so sorry i'm here so (laughs) We're both here. We're both here. We're both <laughs> excited. And right. it, it, it'll be fun. Just like we've we've been saying, it'll be fun and it'll be drama. But the last thing I, I, I want to say before we wrap this up is really to stay connected with, with the podcast on, on our social media. Because that's kind of where the bridge between listening and seeing will be will be there on our instagram which is at the west game sermon our twitter which is at west game sermon our facebook which is the west sermon and then our anchor which is this yep and we will be posting the podcast on there and we want you guys to blow up the comment section listen if you guys have questions if you guys have comments if you guys want to say fuck you bank put it in the comments because we want to hear it Yes, we do. We want to hear it all. We want to know everything about about your thoughts and and just kind of get to know more more of more of our community and and listeners. And because I know a majority of, of the people who who play this game, but there are definitely some people who either don't know me or don't or I don't know them. And I just want to get kind of get to know everybody and we just want to learn learn about all the different ways that people play this game. So if you have anything you have to say to us bank or i i'm sure you can find us in all different sorts of places but our best way of contacting us for podcast information and everything like that will be on the social media that i just said and also the social media will be posted in the the links and in bios of all different kind of kinds of places that most people are 
getting information about this game. Yep, and uh, one thing that you guys can do, I know everyone in the whole West game can't be a guest on here, but we are going to do some live Q&As. We might just like go live one day and just decide that you guys can just, you know, tune in and, and comment what you, any questions, anything you guys want to talk about, if you just want to bullshit. Um, that's why you guys can be part of it. Um, so follow so that when we do go live, you guys get the notifications. Yes, for sure. But I think that's all Bank and I have for you all this evening. Uh, again, I'd like, like to say again, we have such exciting plans for the future of this podcast. So I'd love for you all to s- make sure you stay tuned and keep listening to what Bank and I have to say because it's exciting. And yeah. Yep. It's been great. Love we you guys. Catch you guys in the next episode. (laughs) Good morning, Westgate.